Wicked Love, the Maria Corp story is classified M. It contains some violence and sex scenes. The Nine Network recommends viewing by mature audiences. The day I died began like an ordinary day. Except by then, no day was ordinary. Hello, sexy. Come on, come, on. come back in here with me. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why not? Because I may never get out. Oh, and that's such a bad thing. Hmm? Mm. Five minutes, that's all I ask. Come on. I know. But you're a liar. <laughs> Can you make sure I remember his lunch and his apple, apple in the bowl? I know. I won't forget. Mm. Thanks, sweetheart. Bye, Mum. for someone, anyone. I'm the woman in the boot. This is my story. First, I 
need to take you back to when I met Joseph. She's so fine. Just my kind. She likes little cotton parlors, cigarettes and wine. And when it comes to loving, you know she blows my mind. Why I love her. That's why I love her. Well, she's a little girl. Turn on to the world. Not on first this time. I'm winning. Hi, right, well, we've got a backlog of orders and we're still waiting for delivery of the CI series, so. Are you listening? Absolutely. You're staring at me. Why do you always throw my flowers in the bin? I'm sure you're a very nice man, excuse me. Hello? They're speaking. No, I don't have the warranty paper. Do you have any idea how much that refrigerator cost? Fine. Oh, yes, have a nice day too. Sorry, we're moving. You were saying something about me being a nice man. I don't mix work and pleasure. Well, who said anything about pleasure? Let's go out and have a really bad time. My husband died two years ago. I'm sorry. I have a daughter to support. A pile of debts and now a broken refrigerator. I don't have time for... For fun? For happiness? For anyone else. Lucky for you, I'm very low maintenance. One thing you should know about Joseph, he liked a challenge. Happy birthday. <sighs> it's not my birthday. Well, it's got to be some time. Seven months away. Phew, well, I'm not too late then. Hey, check out the deep freeze. Loads of room, huh? And how good's the crisper? I hardly know you. I can't accept this. Where else am I going to chill my beer? Look, Joseph. Please call me Joe. What do I have to do to convince you I am not interested? Just marry me. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Three months later, we were married. You couldn't say no to Joseph. Ready? Nobody ever could. He was the most charming man in the world. And all he wanted was me. Where are you taking us? A little drive. It's a nice suburb, isn't it? You know, when I was a kid, Anna, I used to ride past big houses like this on my bike and I think to myself, one day I'm going to have one of these when I'm all grown up. So what do you think? It's a paddock. Well, give us a chance, I just bought it yesterday. What? We can't afford We'll do it ourselves. I've got some builder mates. They'll help us. We'll build the biggest house you've ever seen. But Joseph, I thought... You're my princess. And all princesses deserve a castle. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Yes, Joe. <laughs> Oi. You can call me Dad from now on. Here we are, the beginning of the Corp Castle. Anna, darling, where are you, sweetie? We had to scrimp and save. I worked 12-hour days, plus a night job. But I didn't mind. It was our dream home. I laid the first brick. Hello, sweetheart. My little girl dug out the soil where our garden would grow. Darling, stop it. Stop what? Stop it. Put the camera down yeah, and do some work. Yeah, but there's my son in there.